Hi guys, this is lesson number 64 from our Coral Draw Training Course Series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to set the guideline for margin and bleeding using default setting in Coral Draw. That's very easy. You need to set the margin and bleeding before you prepare your design layout. To do that, you need to go to the tools, click on tools menu, options, and here we have customization. Click on customization. In Coral Draw 2021 and 22, page setup, page size, it might appear here directly. But in Coral Draw 2020, you will find it here. You need to click here, document, and all the document properties and options appear to the most left side. To set the margin, you need to click on the page size. And here you can see that is a custom size 8.9 by 5.1 that we have given size for a business card, visiting card. At the most bottom here, you can see that the bleed area bleed area we will set that is the area around our actual size for this business card i am going to set the bleeding area 0.3 and click on show bleed area once you will click ok you will see the bleed area around your document you can see that this is the bleeding and if you don't know what is the bleed area you can check the previous lesson exercise number 63 i explained about bleeding and margin now we are going to set our margin guideline for the text and logo. To set that, once again, we will go to the tools, options, customization, click on document. And this time we will go to the guidelines. Click on guidelines. And here we have different tabs. You need to click on preset and choose here user define preset. Under this, we can set our own margin. I am going to set margin with my page size 0.3 from the top, 0.3 from the left. If mirror margin is checked, Coral Draw will apply the same margin from the bottom and from the right as well. If I will uncheck this, I will be able to specify the different margin from the bottom and from the right. Since we need 0.3 margin from all the sides, we will check this. So whatever the value we will give in top and left, it will reflect to the bottom and right as well. So click OK. This is our actual size. This is 0.3 margin inside our document. And that is the bleed area around. Now, if I want to set my background, I will double click on rectangle. This rectangle is created with the actual page size. If I want to extend beyond the actual size up to the bleeding, we can add here bleeding area. 8.9 is the actual size. So 0.3 from top and 0.3 from the bottom. It's 0 0.6. So 8.9 plus 0.6, it will be 9.5. Actually, this is uh, vertical and this is horizontal. But 0 0.6, we need to add from both sides. It is 5.1. If I will add 0 0.6, it will be 5.7. And then hit enter. Now that rectangular shape, it is resized according to the bleeding area. This rectangle you will use to prepare the background. I will delete this. At the most right side, you can see that I prepared this card and uh, it is with the exact size of this document. I will just bring it there to demonstrate. The background, it is extended and it is with the bleeding area. Background. And any picture that you will use for the background, it should be with the bleeding area. Text and logo, you need to keep inside the margin line. So you can see that this is the margin guide that is a safe zone for the text and logo. For demonstration purpose, I will double click here to create one rectangular shape to show you the actual size. Control home to bring it up. Once they will print, our card will be printed with the bleeding area. And once they will trim in the printing press, this will be our actual size that is 8.9 by 5.1 the purpose to extend the background around our document is to avoid the white space around the edges we can delete this this how you will set the margin and breeding using coral draw default setting and it is very easy and that's all you need to do before you prepare your design layout that's all for now i hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.